Hey guys, Janelle Summers here, Beachbody coach and owner of TurboSister.com. I just want to go over my favorite chocolate vegan Shakeology recipe because I just sent out a ton of vegan Shakeology samples to my customers and so I want to have a recipe that they can reference, which is my favorite recipe. So here it is. It's really simple. It's the chocolate peanut butter banana. I love anything chocolate peanut butter and especially chocolate peanut butter banana. So I added just a cup and a half of ice cubes to the blender, and then I added a cup of vanilla unsweetened almond milk, which of course is full of nutrition and is lactose free, only 40 calories, can't beat it. Then I added another four ounces of water, so just a half a cup of water. I just like it to be about 12 ounces of fluid. I like my shake to be, you know, big, and I like it to be full, make me full because it's a meal. And so then I add in uh, half a banana and I do two tablespoons of PB2. Now PB2 of course is just powdered peanut butter. I'll, I'll do natural peanut butter, it just depends on how many calories I want for my shake at that particular time. The great thing about Shakeology is that as its base, I mean it is a meal. It has already in it whole food ingredients of you know fruits and vegetables and antioxidants and all of that. But if you need additional protein, like if you're using it as your post-workout, post-strength training shake, then it doubles as a meal and your protein shake. So you could do a scoop and a half of the Shakeology so that it has more of that muscle building protein in there. Or you could do a half a scoop of your um, protein, you know, like I use the Beast Base Shake, like a half a scoop of that, or just regular whey protein, a half a scoop or a full scoop. Again, it just depends on what your nutritional needs are. Of course, if you're going to add whey protein to it, then it's not going to be vegan anymore. Um, if you want to keep it vegan, you simply do a scoop and a half of the chocolate vegan, and it's awesome. And I, I have a sweet tooth. I have a major sweet tooth. So I do add stevia, a couple packets of stevia to it. Stevia in the raw is what I like to use. Um, but it turns out so good and it's really creamy and I love the texture of it. I love the taste of it and um, I hope you try it. I'll show you how creamy it comes out. Okay, so I blended it and I don't know if you can tell, but it's really creamy. So you might just have to, to trust me on this. But if you want to make it creamier, you can always add a full banana instead of a half a banana. Or if you like it thicker, then you would just add more ice. Um, play around with it. Make sure that your recipe is exactly the way you like it because everyone likes it just a little bit different. And um, so if you have any questions about Shakeology, of course, contact your coach or contact me and we'll find out if this is the, the right kind of a thing for you. And um, if you order it on Home Direct or Auto Ship, as they call it, then you get free shipping. So that's a pretty good savings right there. And of course, it's something you can cancel at any time. So it's almost like you might as well get it on, on Home Direct and just, you know, see if you like it and then cancel it if for some reason you don't. But like I said, make it the way you like it and uh, you will be hooked. You will be a Shakeology addict like most of us are. Thanks for watching.